Hey, what's up guys, Technology Brat, and today I'm doing a review for the uh, Switch Easy Reptile case for the iPad. Um, you saw the unboxing video, so it's very generous of them to include a screen shield, which uh, most case makers aren't doing anymore, so gotta give props to Switch Easy for still including screen shields, even in the iPad versions, which I've never seen before, uh, at a time whenever even iPhone case makers aren't including screen shields anymore. Um, <clears throat> so that's appreciated, and then they've got all kinds of uh, extra stuff that <clears throat> other case makers just aren't doing. Uh, for instance, here is the uh, just a, a stand that came with it, and they gave you two of them, not just one, but two, one white and one black. Um, so just the extras, you know, they give you port covers, uh, screen shields, all kinds of extra stuff uh, that other case makers aren't doing. So that's just really awesome of Switch Easy. Now this reptile case, I tell you what, whenever I see this in pictures and video, this looks like it's kind of like a soft, leathery type feel to it. And it does have a soft touch to it, and it does feel kind of nice um, just on on the outside, but on the inside, it kind of feels like really cheap uh, plastic, and, and the edges, it just kind of feels, the edges are a little bit more silicone-y than, than hard plastic. Uh, it's kind of a mismatch. It doesn't... I definitely, when I saw it on camera and then when I see it in person, it, it feels much more cheap than I thought it would. And, and I hate to say that, um, I don't want to say their product's cheap at all. It just feels cheaper than you expect it to, to be whenever you buy it. Just because of, <clears throat> I don't know, I, I just expected it to, to feel much nicer. But I guess just the material that they use... Um, I, it's kind of hard to describe, uh, and I know that's uh, kind of my job is to describe it. It's uh, not nearly as soft as you would think, um, it, it, like especially in all these grooves. I don't know. I just pictured something much more soft, and uh, it does have great texture, but it is a hard, it it's soft touch, but it's still hard and rigid at the same time. I know that's not making much sense. Um, it, it is really hard to describe what I'm trying to say. Um, it has, okay, let's say this. It has a matte finish to it, and the texture feels nice, but yet it's still a hard plastic, and it's just not as nice as you would think it would be. Um, I guess that's the best I can do in describing it. Um, on the inside, um, it's just kind of that, I don't know, hard plastic type material. Um, let's go ahead and get the uh, iPad in here. And uh, I am using the Ghost Armor full body. Uh, I did go ahead and remove the edge pieces to make it fit a little bit better. Uh, I did get it to fit very, very snugly with the um, uh, Ghost Armor full body. Uh, but this, this case is definitely designed for uh, a naked iPad. That's for sure. It will fit a lot better. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and install this anyway. Um, and then again, this is with the uh, Ghost Armor full body with the uh, sides removed. Um, so the only extra um, anything on the case is on the back because the front doesn't really affect it that much anyway. Um, so the, there is a back uh, screen protector on here. So it's causing it not to be as uh, good fitting as it otherwise would be. I'm sure normally it fits just fine. But you go ahead and you just kind of set it in there. And then it has this front piece here that's going to snap into place. And it's just it's really easy to put on just like that. And we'll just kind of, you know, work our way up with it and just kind of, you know, snap it over on the uh, bottom here. Get everything in there to fit. And it has little grooves back here with a snap. It does. It's not going to snap. It just kind of fits in there, and you just kind of have to shove it in there and hope that it holds it pretty well. And it's kind of like that all the way around, where the, uh, it, you know, the top piece just kind of connects and stays together in there. And if we were gonna put this port cover in there, there we go. And on this side, we also have the 3.5 millimeter uh, cover as well. So there you go. It does feel good in the hand. It doesn't feel great because, I mean, it, it does feel like hard plastic around the edges. Um, I don't particularly like this green look. This does come in black. I imagine the black does look better. Um, the green really isn't for me. It's kind of a drab. It's kind of a dark 
Um, uglier green color. I, I mean, for reptile, yeah, I get it. I mean, the color is appropriate, I guess. Uh, I would prefer black, I think. Maybe even white would look really cool. Uh, I'm not really into the green color all that much. Um, it does feel nice in the hand because of the back. The texture feels really nice in the hand. Um, it doesn't feel as cheap as it feels um, off the case. When it is on the case, it feels quite a bit better. Um, I wish these edges fit a little bit better, but again, that's probably my fault for using that ghost armor on there. If I took that off, I imagine it would fit a little bit better. But I still think that's an issue that they don't snap together. It just kind of fits in there. I wish it snapped together a little bit better. Um, your ports, everything, the sleep awake button on top is covered. You can see here, works just fine, clicks really well. Um, your noise cancellation mic is open. Your 3.5 millimeter headset jack has a plug. Uh, over here, absolutely nothing. On the bottom, your you know speaker and noise cancellation mic are open. 30 pin connector has a nice little plug which is easy to remove and uh, easy to put back in there. Just real simple. That's nice. I, you just like those extras. And then on this side, uh, there is nothing. And did I even show you this side? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Your, uh, let's get this open. There you go. Your uh, rotation lock, easy to get into, no problem. Finger, 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 it's good, no big deal. Volume up and down, you know, it's not super responsive. I wish it, it does click, I wish it clicked a little bit easier. Um, so, you know, overall, guys, this is a, 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 nice, uh, a, a nice looking case. It does feel nice when it's on the case. It feels a lot more cheap when it's not on the iPad. Um, I will say this, it definitely... It's going to pique people's interest. They see it sitting on your table, whatever. They're going to be like, what the heck is that? Um, so it's a conversation starter for sure. Um, as far as protection, I mean, I don't know, guys. I don't feel super confident in if I drop uh, my iPad in this, if this is going to protect it. But to be honest, the screen is so big, I don't know that many cases out there are going to protect it from that. Um, what's up, guys? I don't know that many cases are going to protect this uh, screen from shattering. So this is really kind of... Uh, to keep it from getting scratched up and to also, you know, add some texture and uh, just add a little bit of, uh, you know, pizzazz or whatever you want to call it, a little bit of flashiness. I really would have liked this in white. I think it would have looked really good. Um, with it in the iPad, I don't know. It just feels a lot nicer for some reason. It doesn't feel as cheap as it does whenever it's, um, you know, by itself. So I guess that's a good thing. Once it's on the iPad, it's not that bad. It does give you a nice frame all the way around the front. Uh, again, I'm not too you know keen on this color here, um, but it is it does provide a nice lip as well. If you want to go ahead and lay it on the coffee table, uh, I think you can go ahead and do that. It's not a huge lip, but you can kind of see, maybe you can kind of see that it kind of angles downward from here down to here. It angles downward a little bit, um, you know. But overall, guys, it just um, is it worth thirty nine ninety nine. I don't know if you like the look. It does feel good once you get it on the case, uh, or once you get it on the iPad. Uh, if you like the green, you know maybe this is for you. I, I I'd probably prefer it in black or white. Um, I I don't like the the way that it snaps together. I wish it was more secure. I wish it felt more like one piece. Like sometimes I'm holding it and I can kind of feel uh, that it is two different pieces, and it just doesn't feel as solid as I would like it to feel. Um, you know, but overall, guys, it's not a bad case at all. I think this is more about look and more about, uh, you know, um, being different and being out there than, than anything else. Um, so that's it, guys. Uh, they, there's a ton of extras in here. It's a very different case, that's for sure. Um, it's not without its flaws. I think that there's some things that they could do to improve it, mainly the, you know, the way that it connects around the, the, the iPad wish it was a little bit more secure. I'd feel more secure about the case, uh, especially the protective aspects of it, uh, if it was more solid. I'm pretty sure if I dropped it that the two pieces are going to come apart. Um, you know, but overall, uh, you, get, you take the good with the bad. Make your, make your own uh, decision on it. Um, I, I don't know that I would buy it. Uh, if it was if it had a better mechanism of snapping together, I might buy a white one uh, for thirty nine ninety nine. Eh, it's kind of pushing it. Maybe twenty nine ninety nine. I feel like it's probably a better price point. Uh, but with all the extras they give you too, um, you know, how can you complain? Uh, but that's it, guys. That's the Switch Easy uh, Reptile case for the iPad. This is in the green. 
Comes in a variety of different colors. Check them out. SweetEasy.com. $39.99. Thank you guys so much for watching. And take it easy.